you know, two games now, um, regular season games. What's your take? Anything that surprises you about the level of MLS play? No, I think uh, it's been a very good level. Uh, I think um, all the teams also I saw in the preseason have a very good level. The technical ability of a lot of players are very good. And, of course, the tempo is very high with the, yeah, a lot of physical play. So I think yeah, it's been a really good level and a good challenge for both me and the team so far. So it's been good. Go. Is there anything that maybe has surprised you in you know the last couple of games that you've, you've played here? Um, yeah, I wouldn't say surprised. I was prepared that it was going to be a tough league uh, and a lot of tough games. But yeah, it has been very tough games. The, it really desires like a, you have to have 100% concentration in every situation. Otherwise, you will be found out in, in this league with a lot of physical and players. But yeah, as I said, I think there's a lot of very, very good technical players as well. Many people maybe think it's only physical, but it's a very good. Also, very many technical players are very skillful and um, um, yeah, so I think it's, I'm not surprised because I, I've heard before I came that it was going to be a high level. But uh, yeah, it's been definitely a good level so far. Uh, next, go to Daniel Rebane on Zoom. How you doing, Noah? Uh, let's just talk off the pitch for a sec. How, how's your transition been from, from coming from Sweden? Um, obviously, it might be easier with, with a, a meal coming here as well. Just talk about your experiences just coming over here so far. Yeah, it's been very good. Um, as you said, it's a lot different from where I'm from, but um, uh, it's nice obviously coming to an English-speaking country. That makes it easier um, to settle in. And as you said, of course, Emil has been a huge part in uh, helping me settle in. He's um, been helping me with everything. And uh, yeah, I can't speak highly enough of how he has helped me settle in. And uh, that has been, of course, very, very helpful for me. But also everyone in the club has been really nice. It's a really close group with staff and uh, players together. So I think both staff and players have also helped me very very well to settle in nicely into the group and also life outside of football to, to or soccer, sorry, <laughs> um, to to settle in. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been very good and a lot of people have been very helpful. Next, we go to Daniel Porenstein. Football, soccer, it's the same thing. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, how has, I know it's only been two matches, but uh, talk about your partnership with Sean Nealis on the back line, uh, sharing the center back position. What's it like working with him? And um, what amazed you about Sean when you came over here? Yeah, I think it's been very nice. Uh, I think Sean is a great player. Uh, first and foremost, he's a very talented defender. He's very strong and strong in the duel. Very, very easy to play with. And then, of course, um, he's, a, he's a leader in the team as well. He, he's a big personality in the group and uh, also a, a leader on the pitch so it that makes it very easy for for me or anyone who plays with him to to perform well because he he helps to especially me as a young, new player in the league to to s help settle in and uh, talk with me a lot on the pitch to it also makes it very easier but yeah of course first and foremost he's a very talented defender he's a good player as uh, all, a lot of players we have in the squad um, are next go to Vaz How's it going, Noah? Thank you for the time. No uh, I just want to ask you, uh, not just on the partnership with the back line, but with the team overall, you've seamlessly just slotted in as if you've been part of it for years now. Uh, can you just comment on that transition phase, possibly? And just as a second parter, how, just a message to the fans. My apologies. All right. uh, no, I think, um, yeah, as I said, as I mentioned a bit before, the it's a really nice group with a lot of young players um, uh, are similar to me as a personality. So that makes it very easy to settle in also off the pitch. And I think that helps very nicely on the pitch as well. When you when you settle in good in the group, it also makes it very easy to, to settle in well on the pitch. Um, and then I think, yeah, um, the team has been playing really well in the beginning. Uh, that, of course, helps also me personally to, to perform to the best I can when the team works well. and. I think we have had a very clear structure for these first few games and also, yeah, really from the beginning, from the preseason, there was a very clear structure when I came here to how the coach wanted the team to play. Uh, and when you have that clear structure, then it's also easier for the individual players to, to settle in new and if, you, if you're comfortable with that system and how we're going to play. Uh, and then for the fans, yeah, I'm very excited to see. It's been amazing to see, see the fans out um, 
both in Houston and in Nashville. Uh, it's incredible to see them travel there, and I'm really looking forward to seeing a lot of people in the stadium. I hopefully, it will be an amazing game. Next, we go to Christian Ortiz. Hi, good afternoon, Noah. Congratulations on two fantastic games. Um, I wanted to ask you in regards to the competition with defender Andres Reyes. How has Coach Sandro has been able to manage um, that situation, keep you guys motivated and, and just be able to perform either at the game or in training? Yeah, as you said, like we have, as I mentioned before, we have a lot of good players, uh, a lot of good center backs as well, both uh, Sean and Anders, and also, of course, the younger guys are very good. So, yeah, of course, it's a competition, um, uh, and that's that's what we need as a, um, as a group, as a team, not only center backs, but in every position, that competition. And, yeah, as you said, Andres and Sean are very talented players, so I have to, and they have to stay on top of the game to to be able to play and and I think that will only help us um, as a team to because that's the most important thing that we that we win games as a team and um, um, so I think it only helps us to have good competition in all the places in the team uh, to push each other every day in training you can't relax one second then you're not gonna play um, so I think uh, and then it's up to the coach uh, to decide who plays uh, but all you can do is Try to perform the best you can when you play and uh, in training every day. Uh, and uh, yeah, as, you, as I said, it won't. It's only not in centre back. We have a lot of good players in a lot of positions. So there's a good competition. I think that's what we need because we want to be a successful team. We, we want to win games, and um, then we have to have this competition to be on top every single day. Thanks, go to Mark. Uh, Noah, you made the team at the match day last week. A roster that included. Leo Messi and Luis Suarez. Talk about, as a young guy, what, what that means to you to be included with that, those group of players so early in your time here. Yeah, of course, uh, it was very nice. Uh, <laughs> it's incredible to be, uh, especially those players that you yeah, have seen when you're a little kid. But uh, I think, yeah, these kind of nominations, I, I think my first game against Nashville was better for me personally than the second one. So I think I try to focus on the performance of myself and the team, and I don't think I should put so much focus on these set of external things because um, I, tr I try to focus on my game, and and if I would play bad, then I will focus on the next game, and I will continue to do so now. Um, but of course, it's incredible to see these players um, uh, in the same team. Uh, we have time for two more questions with Noah. First, we'll go to Joe, and then we'll finish up with Anthony. Obviously. Defense is the first priority, obviously, that's a given. But do you see yourself as somebody who can maybe boost this team's distribution game out of the back? And do you see this scenario, this place, as somewhere you can showcase that part of your game? Yeah, I think that's a very good uh, very good question. I think, um, of course, as you said, def defensive is the priority. We, I'm there to help the team not concede goals. Uh, but yeah, as you said, I, I have uh, the qualities that I... I think I try to bring to the team, uh, and I, yeah, I, I would say I, I have a good passing ability, uh, and I try to bring that to the team, and of course help the team uh, in the way I can. Uh, so I'm some parts I am not as good as another, and some parts I am better than other, and I try to bring those parts that I am good at into the team. Uh, and as I said before, it's been a, it's been a very clear structure on how I can bring those qualities in. Um, so I think that makes it just easy for me when, when you have a lot of players who think the same with when we have such a clear idea of how we want to play in uh, in the system. So then it makes it easy when everyone's yeah has the same idea of how he wants to play, the same picture. And then everyone can bring out their best quality. And I think so far we should have had six points, but uh, we will um, try to get um, another three points next game. I'll finish up with Anthony. Uh, no one Coach Schwartz mentioned how it's been a lot of video watching on Dallas. Is there anything in particular that you feel like you have to change in your game for them as they come into Red Bull Arena? Uh, no, I think we we don't uh, have to change so much. We we of course they play a bit similar like um, Houston did last weekend with uh, a back three. So I think we will uh, yeah we will see how we manage that with the pressing behavior. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think as yeah they will they will probably play a similar way. Um, try to build up a lot of situations from the back. So, if we stay on top of our pressing game, um, which we which we are very good at, then I think we will be able to win the ball up and uh, hurt them.